And the school buses are off. Being a city councilor is a tough job, elected to represent. Bud Polhill has been the voice for his ward for nearly 26 years. Try balancing running a city with running a family business. Okay, well, let me know as soon as you get, soon you find out if you can use them or if you get them done, okay? Didn't change the timing belt. Well, I, I've, I've told people that I have a distinct advantage over most people because I can come back to work and I can, I can pick up a hammer and, and beat the hell out of something, you know, <laughs> just, just to prevent my frustration. I don't do that very often, but there are times when you feel like doing it. His wife Hazel and their son Steve joined Bud in running the shop. Needless to say, there have been a couple of father-son arguments. <laughs> constantly, constantly. But that's uh, that's just the, the the nature of the beast. You know, I don't know whether you could go to any any uh, any business where it's it's a family business where there isn't isn't disagreements. Hazel may have a different opinion about decisions being made. So, who's more often right? I sign the paychecks, let's put it that way. That's as much as I can do to this until I get the valves back. So for this family, where do you find a little time for fun? There's an alarm in here, so I have to unset it. Being a four cylinder it makes like a Resonance. really yeah, resonance that really hurts your ears. For the city councillor and auto mechanic, what keeps him coming back to the shop and city hall is getting the job done. But there is a difference in satisfaction between being an auto mechanic and ward councillor. Yeah, when you're at city council, you don't already always know that what you've done is is going to make a difference. Where here, <clears throat> when when I when we get done working on this engine here and we get it back together and it runs, you know you've made a difference. Okay. All right, thanks. Hello? That making a difference attitude is what keeps the almost 75-year-old counselor busy. And rest assured that he's not racing to a retirement anytime soon. For Fanshawe Learns, I'm Robert Springett.